Moshe and Ahron went and gathered together all the elders of the children of Yisrael, and Ahron spoke all the words which Yahweh had spoken to Moshe, and did the signs in the sight of the people. And the people believed, and when they heard that Yahweh had visited the children of Yisrael, and that he had seen their affliction, then they bowed their heads and worshipped. Shemot, Exodus, chapter 5. And afterward Moshe and Ahron came, and said to Paro, Thus saith Yahweh, the God of Yisrael, Send away my people, that they observe a festival for me in the wilderness. And Paro said, Who is Yahweh? that I should hearken to his voice to let Yisrael go. I know not Yahweh, and moreover I will not let Yisrael go. And they said, The God of the Abrim hath met with us. Let us go, we pray thee, three days' journey into the wilderness, and sacrifice to Yahweh our God, lest he fall upon us with pestilence or with the sword. And the king of Mithraim said to them, For what reason do ye, Moshe and Ahron, loose the people from their works? Get you to your burdens. And Paro said, Behold, the people of the land are now many, and ye make them rest from their burdens. And the same day Paro commanded the taskmasters of the people and their officers, saying, Ye shall no more give the people straw to make brick as heretofore. Let them go and gather straw for themselves. And the number of the bricks which they did make heretofore, ye shall lay upon them. Ye shall not diminish aught thereof, for they are idle. Therefore they cry, saying, Let us go and sacrifice to our God. Let heavier work be laid upon the men that they labor therein, and let them not regard lying words. And the taskmasters of the people went out, and their officers, and they spoke to the people, saying, Thus saith Parao, I will not give you straw. Go yourselves, get you straw, where ye can find it, for naught of your work shall be diminished. So the people were scattered abroad throughout all the land of Mithraim to gather stubble for straw, and the taskmasters were urgent, saying, Fulfill your works, your daily tasks, as when there was straw. And the officers of the children of Yisrael, whom Paraos taskmasters had set over them, were beaten and demanded, For what reason have ye not fulfilled your task, both yesterday and today, in making brick as heretofore? Then the officers of the children of Yisrael came and cried to Parao, saying, For what reason dealest thou thus with thy servants? There is no straw given to thy servants, and they say to us, Make brick, and behold, thy servants are beaten, but the fault is in thy own people. But he said, Ye are idle, ye are idle, therefore ye say, Let us go and sacrifice to Yahweh. Go therefore now and work, for there shall no straw be given you, yet shall ye deliver the number of bricks. 
And the officers of the children of Israel did see that they were in an evil situation when it was said, Ye shall not diminish aught from your bricks, your daily tasks. And they met Moshe and Ahron, who stood in the way as they came forth from Parao. And they said to them, Yah will look upon you and judge, because ye have made our smell to be abhorred in the eyes of Parao and in the eyes of his servants, to put a sword in their hand to slay us. And Moshe returned to Yahweh and said, Lord, for what reason hast thou dealt ill with this people? Why is it that thou hast sent me? For since I came to Parao to speak in thy name, he hath dealt ill with this people, neither hast thou delivered thy people at all. And Yahweh said to Moshe, Now shalt thou see what I will do to Parao, for by a strong hand shall he let them go, and by a strong hand shall he drive them out of his land.'